We have learned how to move, manipulate, and transform objects in Tinkercad. I hope by now you've had a chance to get over to the website and build a few models of your own. Now we're going to learn about another tool called the Mirror Tool. In a mirror, if I hold up my left hand, the image that I look at is holding up its right hand. An exact copy, but a reflection of what I am doing in real life. The Mirror Tool in Tinkercad is exactly the same. We're going to go ahead and select one of these funny looking objects that I've put together. If you can see, they've been grouped. And now we'll go up to the Mirror Tool, which are these two triangles with the line between them. Uh, you can also select this by pushing M on your keyboard. When I click on the Mirror Tool, you'll see three options. We have a Y axis reflection, we have an X axis reflection, and a Z axis reflection. Let's click on the X axis reflection and see what happens. Wow! It's just like looking in a mirror. You can see it's an exact copy, but it's exactly the opposite of what it was in that direction. If we click on the Y reflection, it looks like that sphere disappeared, but really, it just ends up on the other side, exactly opposite of what the original was. If I click on the Z reflection, it looks like it's turned upside down, but not only that, it's an exact opposite reflection of the original. Now, the reflection tool or mirror tool is super useful, especially if you're making things like arms or ears or anytime you want the exact opposite on the other side of your model. You know, this way you don't end up with a dancer with two left feet. We'll see you in the next video.